Okay, well here we are, lesson 42. Thought I'd start you out with just something humorous here. I found this and it says algebra rule because many times we start out with a rule. If it seems easy, you're doing it wrong. Sorry about that. Anyway, let's get on into our lesson for today. Lesson 42 is about solving multivariable equations. The word multi means more than one. And a variable is um, a letter that you don't know what, what number it actually represents. All right, so here we have, it says, the directions say solve for y. And you see we have x's and y's. So the first thing we're going to do, oh, we have x's, y's, and z's. We're going to get rid of the x's. We've got negative x. We're going to add x. We've got positive z, so we're going to subtract z. And we're going to do that over here on this side as well. So now we have 6y, the y term by itself, equals 4 plus x minus z. Now we're going to get rid of the 6 to get y completely isolated. And we have to divide by 6, so we have to divide every single term over here by 6. And then we have y equals, and we can reduce 4 6 to 2 thirds plus x over 6 minus 2 over 6. I mean, I'm sorry, z over 6. And that is how you solve a multivariable equation. Let's look at another one. All right, this has two variables, p and a. And it says we're going to solve for p. That means we've got to get rid of everything over here except the p term. So we're going to subtract negative 2a, and we're going to add 5, and we're going to do that on both sides. All right, and over here we had 6a plus p, so we need to move this p over here to this side. So we'll um, subtract a p on both sides. When we do that, we have left 3p, all of this canceled out, equals 6a minus 2a plus 5. All right, we're going to get rid of the 3, so we have p completely by itself. We subtracted 6a minus 2a and got 4a. So dividing by 3, we have p equals 4 thirds a plus 5 thirds. Now this lesson is very important because it's going to set you up for learning how to graph an equation. Okay, but for right now, we're just going to solve for whatever variable it tells us to solve for by getting rid of everything else. All right, let's work our practice problems. This problem says to solve for y. All right, we've got y, but we also have an x term and we have a numerical term. All right, so I'm going to add 13x and I'm going to add 8. So I'm going to add my 8 right here because I've got a like term I can add it to, and then my 13x. Now I've gotten rid of that and this. I have 8y by itself equals, now to put this in proper form, I want to keep my numbers last and my variables first. So I'm going to write it like this, 13x plus 12. And you might say, well, that doesn't matter now. And it doesn't. It really doesn't. It's not going to change the value of it at all. But later when we start graphing, it is going to matter that you have this um, x term right here. All right, so we still don't have y completely isolated. We're going to need to divide by 8. So we divide every term by 8. And we get y equals 13 over 8x plus, now, 12 over 8 will reduce, 4 will go into both, 4 will go into 12 three times, and into 8 two times. And you can leave it like that because when we start graphing, you really will need to leave it as a fraction. All right, next, this one says to solve for P. 
All right, we've got 8P plus 3W. I need to move that 3W. So I'm going to subtract 3W. But over here, I've got a negative 2P, and I want to move it to the left. So I'm going to add 2P to both sides. All right, let's see what I canceled out. I canceled out that and this. What do I have left? 8P plus 2P is 10P equals negative 3 and positive 1 is negative 2W minus 15. I still have to isolate the P, so I'm going to divide every term by 10. And when I do, I'm going to get P equals 2 tenths reduces to negative 1 fifth W minus 3 over 2, dividing by 5. All right, this can be a little tricky, but we're going to do enough to practice them that you'll get the hang of it in a few days if you don't completely understand it right now. Don't worry about it. Just ask your questions, okay? And I'll see you next time for Lesson 43.